Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's been making waves in the global LGBTQ plus community, the Philippines being hailed as Asia's most gay-friendly country. Now, if you're from the Philippines, you might be thinking, of course we are. We have the biggest Pride March in Southeast Asia, and we've been celebrating LGBTQ plus rights since the 90s. But if you're not from the Philippines, you might be wondering, really? The Philippines? Isn't it a conservative Catholic country? Well, let's dive into this topic and find out if the Philippines truly deserves this title. First of all, let's define what we mean by gay-friendly. To me, a gay-friendly country is one where LGBTQ plus individuals are not only tolerated, but also accepted and embraced by society. It's a country where LGBTQ plus people can openly express their identities and love without fear of discrimination or violence. So is the Philippines really that kind of country? Let's look at some examples. One of the most visible signs of LGBTQ plus acceptance in the Philippines is the annual Pride March. This event, which takes place every June, attracts thousands of people from all walks of life. You'll see drag queens, trans women, gay men, lesbians, and allies marching together, waving rainbow flags and chanting slogans like Love Wins and Equal Rights for All. But the Pride March is not just a parade. It's also a platform for advocacy and education. You'll see booths and stalls set up by various LGBTQ plus organizations offering information about HIV AIDS, gender identity, and other relevant topics. There are also performances by local artists and activists who use their talents to raise awareness about LGBTQ plus issues. Aside from the Pride March, the Philippines has also made some legal strides towards LGBTQ plus rights. In 2017, the country passed a law that recognizes the civil union of same-sex couples. This means that same-sex couples can now enjoy some of the same legal rights and privileges as opposite-sex couples such as joint bank accounts, inheritance, and hospital visitation rights. But of course, there's still a long way to go. Discrimination against LGBTQ plus individuals still exists in various forms, from workplace harassment to hate crimes. There are also some politicians and religious groups who actively oppose LGBTQ plus rights, using their influence to block legislative measures and spread misinformation. So is the Philippines really Asia's most gay-friendly country? I think the answer is yes and no. Yes, because the country has certainly made significant progress towards LGBTQ plus acceptance and equality, as evidenced by the Pride March and the Civil Union Law. No, because there are still many challenges and obstacles that LGBTQ plus Filipinos face on a daily basis. And there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of changing societal attitudes and eradicating discrimination. But let me just add some Filipino pop culture references here to spice things up a bit. Have you guys heard of Vice Ganda? He's a popular comedian and TV host in the Philippines who is openly gay. He's known for his quick wit and his signature catchphrase, Boom Pains, which means Boom Wow in Tagalog. He's also a vocal LGBTQ plus advocate, using his platform to raise awareness about issues such as bullying and discrimination. And then there's the movie Die Beautiful, which is a Filipino indie film about a transgender woman named Trisha. The movie tackles themes such as identity, acceptance, and family, and it won several awards at film festivals around the world. It's a powerful and moving portrayal of the struggles and triumphs of LGBTQ plus individuals in the Philippines. So, there you have it, folks. The Philippines may not be perfect, when it comes to LGBTQ plus acceptance and equality, but it's definitely making progress. It's a country where LGBTQ plus individuals are starting to be seen and heard, where they're starting to gain some legal recognition and protection, and where they're starting to feel a sense of belonging and community.